the World Series of Poker $1,500 Super Turbo Bounty. You want action? Let's see some action. Let's win some all-ins. That's what it comes down to. Stacks start off deep, but they're going to get short real quick, and that $500 bounty on everybody's head is very enticing. All inequities are going up. I'm here to gamble. I haven't been passing on mini edges so far, and now is not the time to do that. If Ryan DePaulo can make the final 20 of a 1K turbo hyper PKO knockout bounty, I can make the final table. It's it's my time to shine. We got a 5% swap with Brad Owen because he's a tournament professional, just like me. Oh wait, I got another 5% swap with my buddy Bobby and I sold him 25% as well. So wow, I have 65% of myself in this turbo. Plan B is to win 1600 if I'm not on super tilt, but hopefully we just go deep in this baby and make it count. Thank you. Boom. Love your video. Man. Oh, you got it. Best uh, tournament vlogger, poker vlogger all around. Shit. Walking around mine with my hand histories and shit. Colossus. <laughs> yeah. Final trying table to, is. Trying to do you proud, you know? After numerous failed attempts to register. over a 30 minute period and all different types of errors and problems and alleged registrations for 1500, we get through. Apparently it did reg, even though I didn't get the confirmation, we got our ticket and we're walking over to Bally's. Not a late reg. It is late reg, but we have a seat waiting for us. Let's get in there and gamble. Let's run hot. 25,000 starting stack. We're ten handed. Somehow got in. Late reg line is extremely long. There's no re entries. Get seated to the left of Chris Mormon, fellow ACR pro. What are the odds? Definitely better than being on the right, let me tell you. Lose a few small pots. We have about 22,000 with blinds at 200, 400, 400. Early position player who. Got lucky with some queen tens earlier in some weird spots. Raises to 1100. We're in the cutoff with pocket queens. Of course, we're gonna three bet to 3300. He thinks about it for about two seconds and shoves all in. I snap call and we're up against ace, king of spades, the most classic race ever. This exact situation is how you win tournaments. Take notes. Unlucky for him, I have Chris Mormon rooting for me. And you know how Mormon runs. Here comes a big double. All right, Just gotta win these to win tournaments. <laughs> Mormon, I need all your power here. Thank you. Is your club? Mormon, that was not the deserved result. That is not how we run like the Mormon. No. Oh, no. You couldn't pay me 10 grand to do what that guy did. And we are out of the $1,500 Super Turbo Bounty. $1,500 gone in about 30 minutes of play. It's a bad hourly. I could do the drive of shame home, or I could light $1,600 on fire at the win. You know what they say, win in Rome. Je m'appelle Jeff, parlez-vous français, s'il vous plaît? Donne-moi un croissant au chocolat. It feels like I'm a drug runner, dropping off loads, but not picking up any cash. Or wait, I'm dropping off cash and not picking up any loads. So it's time to drop off some cash, pick up a boatload of chips, win 
casino chips, that is. I was doing some research last night, and it turns out that in tournament poker, it's important to win your all-ins, especially when covered. I failed at that today, but we have another chance. The win, 1600, 1B championship. Hopefully there's not a long play reg at the win. I'm sure there is, but we're out here battling for the vlog and for my livelihood. We're fighting to survive. The blind's at 300, 500. There's an open to 1,200. Two calls. I got queens in the small blind, 5,500 to go. Original razor folds. Flatter goes in the tank. Is he trapping us with aces? He, no. He's, Hell no, he's not trapping us with aces. In my mind, oh, that's actually him right there. Really sure. In my mind, I'm like, wow, this guy's about to just punt it off with pocket fives right here. And he eventually jams after like two minutes. I snap call, he has king 10 suited. Seven, no. 17,000 chips. And here's the video. Hold! Big hold, big hold. Keep it low, dealer. Get red. Red. No. No. What was that? Nice, nice hit. Yeah. Yeah, I did. All right, we got action. Oh yeah, let's hold, baby. Yep. Big double. All right. Thank you. Double up, last hand before break. Sevens to Queen Jack suited, and we got twenty-two thousand. Fold every hand for a few orbits. We're down to about eighteen thousand in chips. We're in the big blind at one thousand. Under the gun, Jamie, old school buddy of mine, opens to 2200 over the gun. Same King 10 suited guy, puts in the call with the big blind with the King 8 suited. It's pretty marginal, it's live poker. So let's flick in that extra 1200. Flop comes E7 4, two spades. We have the nut flush draw. This is a good flop for us. We check under the gun bets 2100. The button makes it 5100. What's he repping? I think we have fold equity. We have the nut flush draw. This is why we play Texas Open tournaments. This bluff could work. Shove in for 15,000 or something. Under the gun tank folds, which I assume is an ace. And the flop raiser puts in the call with ace eight. Usually not good, but it's good this time. But there's still two cards to come. Let's get there. Hmm. Chop it up. Good game. Good luck. And we are out. And we are out. Of the win, sixteen hundred. Thirty-one hundred dollars down on the day. We could re-enter, but when will the bleeding end? How many sixteen hundred dollar bullets do I have left? Stay tuned and find out.